peripheral vascular disease or uh, PAD could be treated with uh, one of two ways. The traditional way is to do surgery on uh, the leg where we do bypass, let's say there's a blockage in the middle of the thigh, we bring artificial material like a tube, we put it uh, above the blockage and we connect it below the blockage so we divert the blood flow to the leg. Now that is open surgery, it requires incisions, uh, general anesthesia, hospitalization, usually a few days of stay in the hospital, and the recovery afterward to go back to work could be uh, weeks. Uh, the alternative is to do minimally invasive revascularization procedure or angioplasty, where we go with a needle poke in the vessel, we go through the blockage with a tiny little wire and then we put uh, devices like balloons or stents or uh, therectomy devices where we shave the plaque and then that will open the blockage. Usually the recovery is immediate, patient uh, can be discharged home the same day within two to four hours and then back to work in uh, three days to full activities. This is uh, really a brief summary of what you can expect uh, in terms of treatment for your PAD. I'm here today in the company of my favorable, favorite patient, Mr. Boldarini, who actually came to me with the left leg pain when he walks. Uh, he is an insurance estimator, right, yeah. Yeah. Insurance estimator. And in fact, sadly enough, he was having a lot of pain in his left leg when he was walking around work to give estimates uh, that he even retired uh, because of the uh, discomfort that it was causing him, it was slowing him down at work. So when I met him, um, I suspected that he has blockage in his left leg and we did the ultrasound on you and uh, we diagnosed that he has 100% blockage in his left leg circulation just above the knee, we call it the uh, uh, superficial femoral artery. So I took him to the cat lab and we did angiogram and then we diagnosed that it is, it is indeed 100% blocked, then we actually went on to unblock your leg uh, under conscious sedation. He was actually uh, awake when we did it. It's all done from the groin, a uh, little tiny uh, incision. So the blockage that was 100% was full of calcium and clots and plaque and cholesterol and becomes very hard to open. So we have to use a device uh, called Panthera device that uh, is a catheter, has a shaving tip on it. So we went through the plaque, we shaved it a few times and the shaved part gets stored in the nose of the catheter so it does not go downstream and block the vessels below the knee. And uh, we have fantastic results, didn't we? So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So he came to me afterward, he's feeling like a million bucks and his leg uh, pain has uh, totally uh, resolved, you're able to walk without uh, limitation. Yeah, no, no, Actually, he just told me that he's thinking uh, about possibly considering a part-time job again. Yeah. He's bored at home uh, and he wants to uh, be active again now that the reason for his retirement uh, is treated. So, any concerns you have right now about any of the treatment that you have? No, I just eventually would like to get off that blood thinner. You yes, know, I don't like I don't like a lot of medication. And so we have to use a blood bruise thinner on you for one bruise. year. I told you one year. Uh, one uh, we, we use baby aspirin along with yeah. medications called Plavix. Um, there's two other medications we can use based on the patient for one year. This is to keep the vessel open and flowing without clotting in the same area. And once the area hardens and the flow is stable, we can definitely yeah. stop the blood thinner. And uh, you've been more active, which was uh, what we talked about. You're following a low cholesterol diet. Uh, you know, we recommend the Mediterranean diet, which is recommended by the American College of Cardiology. And this diet has uh, olive oil, has uh, nuts, has uh, chicken and fish, less beef, less dairies, uh, more vegetables, more fruits, yeah. along with daily exercise and walking uh, program. So I really want uh, the public to know that we have options to open blockages that are 100% or 90% or whatever it is that is causing symptoms to the person when they walk. So pain in the leg when you walk, don't ignore it. Don't think it is just a knee or a hip or 
some muscle. It could be circulation problem, and uh, especially in people who have diabetes or who smoke. Actually, those yeah, are used to smoke. And, yeah. Right. So those are the common risk factors uh, that patients have. So when we open those blockages, uh, it could be a life-changing experience. Yeah, it, it has been. So far. And thank you for telling the public about your personal experience. Thank you for I'm sure they will learn a lot from you. Thank you.